Hello once again. This is uh, my latest creation, an International Harvester 365 Vibratine Cultivator. It's a replica of a 25-foot uh, model. It has uh, 77, I believe, uh, tines attached to it. Vibratine is the international word, or their, their trademark version of what was uh, known at the time as the S-Tine Cultivator. Uh, not a very popular um, uh, cultivator in terms of international harvester. They were more uh, invested in the Vibrashank uh, design, which worked very well for them. But he did make this one in the late 70s, early 80s, and, uh, and they're still out there. Um, this was a complicated toy in that there's 772 pieces that goes into this toy. And uh, interestingly, it took about 800 hours to build from the very start to the very finish, including painting and decals. Um, the, even the hydraulic lines are actually 100% accurate to the real uh, cultivator, including behind this tower here. I don't know if I can get this accurately enough for you, of the uh, uh, hydraulic uh, coupling area that uh, completed the entire circuit. Uh, just to show you what that looked like on the real one, I have it in my book over here by taking photographs of real ones and trying to to make it 100% accurate, which I did manage to do. You'll see uh, by going over to this side over here, uh, the uh, uh, locking mechanism right here uh, on the main cylinder. There's two on either side, and that allowed that allows the main wheels to lock up in, in a transport position. Uh, being uh, by myself, and it's actually a two-handed job, so um, the other one's on this side right here. Uh, I'm not able to give you a full demonstration of that, but it does work 100%. Even the adjustable tube across the top that adjusts the uh, hitch itself, depending on the tractor you're using, it is threaded and, and works. I'm going to quickly just to raise the uh, wings on it, and it goes like so. And you can tell that, uh, what, uh, if I just get to focus properly on you, you simply insert a pin here to lock it into place. And, uh, and there you go. Um, I'll just pull that out for now, and I'll just, for scale uh, purposes, I'll just simply raise this one, and back up a bit here, try to get a better focus for you. And that's what it looks like, uh, zoom out somewhat, in a um, wheels down, but wings up position. I'll just uh, go back over here and just uh, drop the wing. I'm going to uh, attempt just to go around here and give you a side view. I'll uh, show you the level of complexity and, uh, and work that went into it. Anybody who wants to uh, perhaps attempt building one of these, give you a bit of an idea. Uh, it took a lot of time, so all brass and aluminum. Um, I will not make another one. Uh, the, the, uh, it took a significant amount of hours to build, and is in fact not for me. A good friend of mine gave me a set of tractor weights for my uh, 986, my real tractor. In return, I said, oh, I build them a toy, and uh, that's what I've done here. I'll just uh, quickly go around again, just to give you an idea of the, uh, the size and complexity of this toy. And again, 776 pieces, about 800 hours worth of labor went into this. Uh, but uh, a very interesting piece, and I'll just quickly, uh, I'll just drop this here, hopefully I can keep this focus for you. And as I watch the mechanism, I'm going to show you how that works, and the up and down position. And if I do it on this side here, I can just quickly perhaps just show you the underside of, of what that looks like uh, when it is up. Anyhow, I uh, one thing that uh, I, before I sign off, I just want to go over with real quick is how to make so many vibratines so quickly. Actually, I took a jig, which is right here, and using uh, 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 strips of aluminum that are that were pre-cut. Uh, we're put inside this jig and I'll just go like so and give you an idea of how that worked and, and uh, made that happen. I, I went through a couple of jigs before I got what I wanted out of it, but in the end it worked really, really well. I made extra tines just in case I wanted to make another toy of a similar nature of some point, but uh, uh, we'll see about that. This was quite complicated in itself. I'll just drop this wing here before I sign off. In the meantime, I hope you find this... Uh, this video uh, of interest of to what a 365 international harvester a vibratine cultivator 
uh, in one sixteenth scale looks like, and one hundred percent accurate to uh, uh, to the real one. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed.